Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Armor Class issue number 5 by Valiant Comics. This is the last one in the series. There's also some kind of a pre-order edition or something like that. I didn't know. I just have this one on Facebook group. Doesn't matter, but but the um, the cover looks nice. I, um, I like it very much. Um, good looking art. And um, that's what I want in my comics. Amongst other things. Uh, and good writing. So, is this a, a worthy um, end to the series? Well, you're going to find out. Uh, skipping a few pages, or one or two. So we dive right in where we left off. I mean, there's a war coming uh, of going on, and the rebels, which are the ironclads, you know, need to find Parrish, or Paris, their, their teammate. Um, this is the uh, governor, who is actually a good guy. They kidnapped, um, or he's one of the elephants, alpha governor. He kidnapped uh, Paris for, uh, well, because he's a, one of the chosen ones. You know, uh, let's go along with that. And then we have, um, I think, the real rebels called um, Legionnaires. Now, when I think of Legionnaires, I don't think about people that look like this. You know, I have a way different image of Legionnaires. For me, these are the bad guys or the, you know, the, because they have made war with these Elephants in, in, in the Citadel because they want their resources, their weapons, their technology. I'm not really sure. It's not, they are just there. They are not developed. They are not being, how do you say, um, there's no story written about that. We have just a couple of lines that they are, you know, scumbags. That's about it. Uh, although the armor class blames the elephants for you know uh, kidnapping Paris but also that they have live under quote-unquote terrible circumstances and do you know slave labor jobs so yeah it's it's not really clear who is the good guy or the bad guy um, but for story purposes let's say these are the bad guys right and now it, uh, this this whole tether in the last issue is, is you know destroyed Everything that is in there, you know, armor, equipment, um, people falling out, they are dead. They are falling to their doom. And the armor clads are in, in the facility, try to free Paris. Okay. But then this happens, which confuses me. So we see this uh, legionnaire and he says, attack, attack. And then take out the governor, take out everyone. Okay, wait a minute. Um... Where are these beasts coming from? Not only that, do legionnaires have control about these creatures? And if so, why didn't we know about that? There is no explanation. Um, this is just a new revelation, by the way. I mean, I know that these people, like I said, you know, want something from the elephants, but there is no, not you know, nothing is established about these people controlling, if that's the case. Um, these creatures that, you know, constantly attacking people left and right. It's really weird. And now we just do this without any explanation. That's, that's really weird. Uh, but yeah, move along. Uh, so Paris is, is being uh, saved by um, these very underaged um, group of people that they are, well, they are his friends. And um, he said, hey, it's good to, to see you uh, here and, and blah, blah, blah. And they are, they are, you know, getting introduced to this mega weapon that I believe Paris is one of the people that can access that or something. Or he is one of these chosen ones that, you know, has a connection with these weapons. It's not also a little bit sketchy here and there. Um, she says, uh, we have to take this. Why? What is that? Part of an ancient mech suit that supposed, uh, supposedly has the power to change the galaxy. Well, the galaxy is really big, uh, so I'm not sure if that's really the case. But then this guy says, okay, but what does it do? Um, it's a Gatling gun, you know, it looks like a gun. And even though you are not from planet Earth, you have, I don't know, weapons and um, like cannons and shooty things. And you cannot see that this looks like a cannon-esque shooty thingy. I mean, what is wrong with your eyes? You can clearly see it's supposedly, you know, used for warfare, right? Okay. Anyway, 
Um, Paris says, I don't know yet, Cole, but it's a big deal and we're taking it with us. Okay. We're coming back to this whole part a little bit later, a couple of seconds. Um, so, this ship is being destroyed by the storms. Here's the Citadel. Here's the, um, the um, governor trying to hold the line against all these onslaught of creatures. The art looks really, really good. The colors looks really, really nice. I'm a big fan of this. Everything that happens on screen, uh, he's getting attacked and... Um, and this happens. It looks really, really cool. It's, it looks basically spectacular. I also like the fact, small detail, um, that as you can see here, very small, this is still part of the tether. It's still breaking, uh, falling out of the sky. And then we see here all these, these debris coming in the background. Small little details. I like that a lot. Um, but then this, this ship. Coming back to this a little bit later because there's something going on that I don't get. Um, so these creatures are tearing into this uh, armor and then some weird stuff happening. So you see this hole here, right? And then, I don't know, some kind of explosion. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Um, so somebody's shooting from the upside up, uh, from, the, from below to up, I don't know. Um, and then armor clads are coming out. Um, wait a minute. So, if there is already a hole, why did you need to shoot it? Because you don't know there's people here. Because you are below, you can see that. And then, when they climb out of the hole, why is the hole so small? What is with the perspective? Speaking of perspective, see this weapon, right? Here, a um, couple of pages ago, like, year that's really big and now you're taking it out like it's just i don't know a couple of bags this looks a little bit better here this perspective but you know it's it still looks like it's i don't know shrunk i don't know so um underage um, Layla or leia i'm not sure what her name is anymore uh, says okay we have to go through to get out okay i like that and they are attacking the beasts and again action Blood and gore, uh, taking a stand. The grid looks fantastic. Um, the ship is still falling, by the way. Okay, coming like coming back later again. Um, and then Paris says, "No, that's the governor's domain's destroyer." And uh, because well, it's, he's he's being overwhelmed. Uh, Paris says, "Okay, we uh, we have to help him." And then um, he says, "Why? Because he has the answers to questions we haven't even started asking." Okay, so he pushes the button, um, but you said a minute ago that you don't know what it does. Does that mean that you know now do what it does and how to operate this particular piece of ancient technology? Again, no explanation. He's just pushed the button and hopes for the best. I don't mind that really, but you know, a little bit more explanation. I mean, it's, this is ancient technology. How do you know how to use it? Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so he, there's a blast, you know, from this weapon to here. It looks really, really, really cool. And, and the governor says, hey, Paris. And, um, and uh, he says, oh, hold on, we're coming. And then a lot of other um, armor class are coming to help, like last minute rescue. Again, great stuff. People are happy that they are here. The monster's getting their asses kicked. Uh, what strikes me is that... Um, the monsters are dying, but none of the armor clads. So there's no casualties, which is weird. I mean, the, in the last couple of issues, there's an enormous amount of monsters and insects, you know, overwhelm the armor clads, but there's still no, you know, death from the other side. I mean, death from the iron clad side. Again, weird, in my opinion. It's not really good. Um, so the governor says, yeah. Well, something like this. You got it to work. And then he is getting blown up by, I don't know, some kind of a rogue missile from nowhere. And it doesn't say who shot it or it's just maybe a coincidence that, you know, black people shoots at things and he's caused, caught in a crossfire, I guess. And then Paris said, no, but this doesn't correspond very well. The facial expression is not, you know, corresponding to what 
he's feeling looks a little bit weird. Again, more weird stuff. Um, by the way, the ship uh, is still falling. Uh, and I don't get that. I mean, the whole journey from when we see the first time that we see the, uh, see the ship falling to what they are doing here and with all the talking and the busy and the killing and the rescuing, it's about takes about, I don't know, 50 minutes, half an hour in, in, in IRL, real time. But the, the ship is still falling. I don't know, is he falling in slow motion or whatever? So Paris uh, sees the threat and he says, okay, let's, um, let's blast him out of the sky. He says, hey, what are you doing? Just do it. And he's shooting this mega beam. It looks cool. And then we have some ads here that we're going to skip. More skipping, more skipping, more skipping, more skipping. Yeah, Book of Shadows. I know that. And then this is happening. So he shoot, shoots the... <laughs> he shoots the ship in two. Uh, so they are not getting hurt, which is also weird because there's a lot of falling debris coming from that. And they are... Not hurt, nobody's getting hurt, no casualties, nothing. A giant ship just dropped next to you and yeah, you just walk away. Um, I don't believe that's how physics works. And also, didn't you just shoot this whole ship full of, I don't know, people are on board still, I guess, you know? Maybe there are, you know, even probably they are going to die when falling, but you just, just shoot. A ship with full of civilians, doctors, soldiers, people, living human beings. <laughs> Nothing matters. Um, so they all congratulate themselves how good they are. He says, hey, Paris, did you do that? Sort of. Um, it's something greater that we've ever seen before. So he pulls the governor out of the... Uh, of the wreckage and, and the governor says it is up to you now to restore the flame while well, he's just dying well that's too bad uh, now he cannot you know tell you anything about your destiny or something like that and um so paris says thank you all for rescuing me for fighting so hard and for coming together to prove that we have the power to control our own destiny yeah okay um so you are one with the superpower he says, well, whatever this thing turns out to be, just know that we're all in this together and it will be on. only use it for liberate us from our old lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With great power comes great responsibility, right? Yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> no more dying in the mines, blah, blah, blah. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm just dissing the, the writing a little bit here. But actually, I just, well, the writing is, eh. you know, it's, 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 it's eh. But, yeah, okay, moving on. And um, so he does the speech and, and they say, hey, are you a leader again? Me? No, we've been all enough. Uh, uh, we all had enough of being ordered around. That said, Leila brought you all together. She led you this far. As far as I'm concerned, she earned the top spot. So wait, wait, but you just said you've had enough of being ordered around. I mean, you're talking to we form instead of you. And now you're pointing her as leaders so that she can order people around. <laughs> and she's only 14 years, 14 years old. But OK, we have talked to, talked enough about that part in the last issue. It's, it's just OK. So um, what do you say, boss? Uh, just say yes. Yes. Now let's get out of here. OK, so she turns around and just walks away. How about Paris? You just did all of the effort to break him out. You're not saying goodbye. You do not talk to him. You do not, I don't know. You just walk away. Okay, okay. Last thing we're going to see is in some kind of a uh, zoomed out of all the debris and uh, the, the destruction. And there's a narrative going on. And we see this, this girl. And it talks about the world voice. So the last uh, page that we're going to see is this, oh, well, this is not it. Uh, this young woman here, and she says, your voice is not the voice I serve, but you call out for help, and so I will answer. So we are now introducing magic into this comic, which I do not like at all, and that Arnold Klaas will return. So yeah, this is the end of the book. Uh, book of Shadows stuff looks great, kind of, you know, is on a pre-order. Uh, so yeah, this is now it's over. 
So what do I think about it? Um, well, like I told you in, in issue through one till four and, and now this video, um, love the art, love the premise, love the whole technology thing. Looks great, you know, this whole raw uh, armors, you know, not high um, technology stuff, just working armor, group of people want to be free, great stuff, you know. I'm not on board with part of the writing, um, being young people that are, you know, just being born, let's, let me add, that's probably not the right word, but, you know, 12-year-olds, 16-year-olds all taking charge, leading leading rebellions, uh, etc. I'm not on board. I know, I just, like I said, they are being genetically modified, they are being raised in harsh conditions, so yeah, but they're still, I guess, 14 years old. They don't have the mind and the capacity to lead as an adult. That is my opinion, but, you know, maybe... And, Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. And also, what happened to the Legionnaires? The Legionnaires are now, I don't know, defeated? Did the, did the Elfins won? Did they are being, you know, did they run away? Where are the monsters? What happened, what happened to all of them? I have no idea. This, this, the resolution in this book is not really clear. It's just, hey, we saved the day, and now we walk away to our quote-unquote destiny. Um, so... I like it, but there's not a lot of things that could be improved. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Not sure if I pick up the, um, the other armor class that come after this. We'll see. For now, I'll leave it like this. Guys, this is it. Uh, let me know what you think about the whole armor class series and, uh, you know, about my videos. Just, you know, leave something in the comment. Give me a like, a share, a sub. You know the whole jazz. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.